Hey guys, this is Carter here with Carter's Outdoor Adventures. And today I'm going to be reviewing the, uh, I think how you say it is, Qching uh, 1200 Lumen Tactical Flashlight. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so getting right into the video, I want to give full disclosure, I was sent this product by Qching. Uh, I think it's how you say the name. I'm probably butchering that, but we'll just run with it for now. Uh, they sent this product out to me to do a review on, but this is still my unbiased opinion on the product. They're not paying me or telling me what to say. Um, so today is episode three of Straight to the Point, my review series where we skip the lengthy unboxings and we get straight to the point. So kind of the format on the video as always is I'm going to give you just the quick features, uh, setup, um, overall like specs and stuff, and then uh, the price to value ratio and see if this would be the flashlight that you may want to purchase. So let's get straight to the point. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the basics on this flashlight. Uh, they come with this lanyard right here, it's pre-installed. Uh, the body itself is aluminum. Something I was very surprised on just how light this flashlight is. I'll have the exact weight up on the screen. But um, if you have this, you know, using it as an everyday carrier on the side of your gun, you barely even feel it. It's like air. But one downside to that is to make it that light, they kind of had to thin down the aluminum. So um, here on the end cap, you probably only have like four or five threads and it's a very fine thread and the aluminum is pretty thin so you got to be careful to try and make sure you don't cross thread that over time I can see it wearing but that's not to scare you that's just something to consider um, maybe when buying this flashlight it's still very sturdy feeling I don't think you would have any issues but you have that potential to maybe cross thread one of those threads so that's something to that take into consideration also in the cap um, in cap and front cap they have uh, o-rings installed to make this flashlight water resistant so I think overall they did a really good job and if you're looking for a very lightweight flashlight I think this is a great option. So the next thing I want to talk about is the mounting system they send you in the box. Uh, it's just basically your standard uh, M-lock uh, to clamp uh, mounting system here. They give you two extra M-lock screws and an Allen key. Uh, all you have to do is loosen one side. Uh, you can feed your lanyard through and then slide it down. Also this flashlight has a flat um, side and then there's like a flat part in the uh, uh, clamp so you can kind of just put that together wherever you would like and then you can take your uh, provided allen key tighten those back down so the flashlight itself has like a, I guess you call it like a waffle cut like texture into the metal so it gives you really good grips so you don't have to worry about sliding around obviously this is just your standard M-lock mounting system so most of your ARs or tactical guns will already have uh, a rail already on your gun for this. But um, say your gun doesn't have a rail already mounted, you just have to look up your gun and most of them have options where you can buy uh, M-lock rails and mount on the side of your gun. Uh, I don't personally own one of those guns, so I don't have a gun to demonstrate this with. But it's really simple. All you have to do is uh, take these screws out, slide the flashlight out, and then you'll be able to see the two screws right here on the back side. And you can just um, put this through your M-lock, tighten it down, and then just set your flashlight in and then tighten the top down. So it's extremely simple. It's very straightforward. So uh, that's how you mount this on the side of your gun. So the next thing I want to talk about is the pressure switch that they give you in the box. Uh, it has an on-off and a momentary switch. Uh, you can also do like a strobe if you click it. Um, this is just your standard... Uh, on off cap that would come on every normal flashlight with a lanyard here. This one here is used so if you have this mounted up on the front of your gun you could run this back beside the trigger on your um, actual firearm. So when your finger is in the safe position on the firearm you can operate your light. Really quick access. Pretty big downside here is they didn't give you any way to actually put, mount the pressure switch on the side of your gun. You're gonna have to come up with your own way to like tape it on or uh, strap system. So I don't really know why they gave you a pressure switch and then didn't give you a way to mount it on the side of your gun. So that's something to consider. You could also just maybe take the lanyard off of this uh, standard cap and then just reach up and cut it on. It's not that much movement, but if that's a big deal to you, this might not be the flashlight for you. Or I think really good option would be get some double-sided sticky tape and uh, put some right here on the back of this rubber on the switch and then just stick it on or maybe come up with a strap system. So that's something to consider. Okay, so I want to talk about just the battery system that they send you in the box. 
they give you two of these uh, 2200 milliamp hour batteries. Um, they're 3.7 volts. Uh, they're also rechargeable. This is the charger station that they give you. It holds one battery, obviously, at a time. It's a micro USB on here on the top to a USB. Uh, in my experience, it took me about three hours to um, charge these from zero to fully charged. Also, they both came to me in the box fully charged, so that's a plus. And then the, basically your battery life on the flashlight, if you were to just turn this flashlight on here on the counter, it would last for about two hours of just standard brightness and then it would probably dim down for another, say, 20 to 30 minutes of just getting um, steadily decline on the brightness. So you get like two hours of good use and then it kind of just goes down um, from there. That's gr pretty great for the amount of brightness that you're getting out of the flashlight. Also, I, I had a thermometer and I would uh, check the outside temperature on the flashlight. And uh, at the end of the first hour, the outside temperature was at 105. And I, would, I took it every 10 minutes um, from that point forward. And uh, so basically it, ro it rose up to 105 and then went down. So you don't really have to worry about it overheating. It gets moderately hot, but it uh, works fine. Uh, also, they give you two of the batteries so you can have one on the charger, one on the flashlight. So you get your two hours and say 10 minutes of battery life. Uh, out of the flashlight and then you can just swap them. So if you keep this one on the charger, you'll always basically have a flashlight charged. So on the battery uh, system as a whole, I think it does really great. So the first thing on the light test, I'm just going to show you the light pattern that you get out of this light. I'm like 10, 15 feet away from the wall here. And as you can see in the center, there's probably a three, four foot, probably more like four foot diameter hot spot right in the dead center, which is like your bright spotlight. Uh, and then there's also that like wide beam that um, outside of the light which kind of just lights up the area. Uh, obviously the outside's a little bit darker than that center spotlight. So they did a pretty good job on that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is uh, what this flashlight would look like if you're scanning an area. This field is about 100 yards long. And uh, like I was showing you over on the wall, that four foot diameter uh, center hotspot kind of just blends in and becomes one just big spotlight. So if this is mounted on the side of your gun, you kind of light up the whole area so you know what you're looking at, but you still have that center spotlight for where your sight picture would be. So they did a good job setting this light up. And um, like I said earlier, this field's about 100 yards long, but this flashlight is definitely bright enough. I think you could shine out to 150, 200 yards without a problem. So I'm gonna show you what it would look like if you're just like scanning up in the air, say for, you know, some sort of varmint hunting, you know, raccoon hunting, stuff like that. Like this is a pretty big uh, hickory tree here. I'd say it's probably, I don't know, 65, 70 feet tall at least. And you can just shine up all in the trees, no problem. So say you were dog hunting coons, something like that, this would be a great light for you. Uh, next thing I'll show you is just you know a quick scan through the woods. And this, it's, it's really bright, so you can just kind of just scan a whole area real fast. So it's pretty impressive. So the next thing I want to talk about is just the price on this flashlight. Uh, this flashlight is $35 on Amazon. I will have it linked in the description below. And I think for everything you're getting, it's an extremely good budget option. Uh, you're getting two rechargeable batteries that have a, you know a two hour two hour and ten minute battery lifespan on one battery and you're you know they're rechargeable and you're getting an aluminum uh, flashlight that's you know you can take the M-lock clamp off if you don't want to mount it on the side of your gun you can just use this as an everyday carry flashlight and also just the brightness level that you're getting out of this flashlight for the price I think kind of just uh, they did a really good job kind of setting it up one downside like I was mentioning earlier was they didn't give you a way to mount the pressure switch onto the side of your gun. Uh, so you're either going to have to uh, just use the standard on off button and reach up and turn your flashlight on or maybe uh, get some double sided tape or some sort of strap system. So if you don't want to deal with that, this might not be the flashlight for you, but if you're looking for a really great budget option, uh, $35 flashlight that's still extremely bright, I think that this is a really great buy. So I guess my final thoughts are, I would definitely recommend this flashlight to you guys. In all my testing, it seems to work flawlessly. Uh, it's, like I was saying, it's very bright. Uh, it lasts, the battery life is like two hours, two hours, 10 minutes on one battery. And uh, you can fairly, pretty easily solve the pressure switch um, mounting on the side of your gun if that's an issue for you. So um, if you have any questions on this flashlight, drop them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Carter's Outdoor Adventures. And with that, thanks for watching.